Ohio gozaimasu minasan. Welcome to episode 57 of Let's Play Skyrim. Today, we are killing the freaking Stop emperor. Right Tower is off limits and what's this now? Uh, order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the gourmet. By Azra. The gourmet. I I'm sorry. I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand? I'm you're not dressed as I would have suspected. <laughs> but please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. <laughs> what do you mean I don't look as you was expecting? The fuck? What the fuck is that supposed to mean, bro? Challenging me? Fucking, fucking challenging me? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> ah, so cute. God damn it. The amount of joy such a simple little thing <laughs> brings me. My god, I wish those loading screens lasted longer now. Chusha. Hey, you're ugly. Oh. Can I have this gold? Am I boring you? I told you people our stocks are fine. The gourmet? <laughs> oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Yes? Hmm. You're a Nord? I never would have guessed it. But where in the world did you learn to cook like that? Here in Skyrim? Or maybe somewhere less... Silence! <laughs> I'm ready to pair the grand feast. Oh, well, uh, actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Why the fuck can I not cook without a chef's hat? Seriously, what? That doesn't make any sense to me. There you go. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot what my face looked like. <laughs> now I am a true chef. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just look at you. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Now, now you're just <laughs> as I imagined. Oh, you, your words, your words are too kind. <laughs> oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the emperor has requested your signature dish, the potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Remain silent. <laughs> oh, I get it. This is a test, right? You want to see how well I know the potage le magnifique. Well then, I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick, right? Now what? <laughs> My choice then? Oh, very well. I think we should add some chorus eggs for additional flavor. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. Thistle, yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. <laughs> My choice? Hmm. All right then, tomatoes. Simple yet infinitely flavorful. Don't you agree? Well, I have to say the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? No, <laughs> let me remain silent. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> now, now. Who's the gourmet here? <laughs> Who just remained silent while you cooked the entire meal? Me! So you better fucking listen to what I have to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. Alright then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, <laughs> well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the, what the fuck? and lead the way up to the dining room. 
I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. I didn't do a goddamn thing. This doesn't make any sense. What the fuck? Why did I need the hat on? I just sat there remaining silent. I did nothing. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> what a fucking stupid quest. Holy shit. I just gave her poison. That is all I did. I added the poison. She is basically the one killing the guy. It wasn't even like me. Like, it's all on her. It, I think it's completely her fault. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. <laughs> well, you, well, I am kind of amazing. I can agree. an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one, now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah. The potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... What was that, God? Oh, the gourmet and the chef are poisoning the, the Emperor! Someone Get them! What? No. No, you don't understand. It was all her. I didn't touch the soup. I didn't even put the poison in. She did it all. It wasn't me. Uh oh. That man was by far the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Huh? <gasps> Surprised? <gasps> so was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. <gasps> but you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you and butcher each and every one of your miserable <gasps> friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. <gasps> and now you'll pay the price. What the kill him. fuck? Make sure there's nothing left to bury. I've been had. Oh, you. <laughs> you will regret your life. <sighs> Who the fuck do you think I am? Do you see my chef hat? <sighs> you fucking die, you piece of shit. Betray me, will you? Yeah, they're all gonna die. Where did he go? Where did that fucking prick go? Oh my god. By order of the arm, stop right there. What? What is this? I don't think I can jump out. Hup. Okay. <laughs> now that they are dead... What the fuck? I should've just went to jail. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've been betrayed. What is this? They said they, the... So Astrid had to have been the one that like set me up? Right? Isn't that what he said? That they were like gonna kill me? And now they're gonna kill everyone? 
So apparently the Dark Brotherhood's under attack now. Um... Well, what the fuck's going on? Turn to the sanctuary. Why can I not fast travel there? What the fuck is going on? That's where it's, it's telling me to go, so that's where we're going to go. But goddamn. Quite a turn of events, this episode. Holy shit. I've never done this quest before. I had no idea that uh, I was getting backstabbed just like that. I guess it was a little too easy to kill the, kill the emperor. All I did was let this uh, ugly lady do all the work. I still have my horse. These are bandits. I don't care about bandits. To the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, you're gonna regret your fucking life, bro. Go! Go, my un unnamed horse! You shall all perish. Oh, he's in the tree. You okay, horse? What are you doing over there? I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. You okay, buddy? Oh, that's a good horse. You love killing people, don't you? Ah, Fuckers, I don't even need your loot. Fuck your loot, you pieces of shit. What is this? That's not good. Is that always there before? Okay, what's it look like inside? Oh god, you guys. Well, I am pissed off, but we're gonna fucking murder some people, god damn it. I've been betrayed. They've been double-crossed. I'm the listener, goddammit. I deserve some fucking respect. I am a... I am the Gourmet. You see this hat? I'm the fucking Gourmet. How dare they? Holy shit. Look at this place. It's like falling the fuck apart. Is it just gonna have to be me? Taking over? Huh? Why is he naked? Do they strip him? Those sick fucks. Huh? Let's follow this dude. He's fucking take everyone out. Huh? No! Your armor's worth something. I'm taking it. Uh. Your shield's getting annoying, sir. Uh. All right. What about our pet spider? Oh, uh. pet spider's dead. Hi, buddy. So you are alive. I was starting to wonder. Of course I'm alive. Do you see this fucking hat? You see this hat? So you are alive. I was starting to wonder. The Emperor it was all a trap. Someone set us up. Considering most of us are now dead, I assumed as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. 
<laughs> well, maybe I did. Saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <laughs> so, thanks. Yeah. So we didn't set it up. Maybe the guy we got the contract from set it up? Ah, maybe I wasn't betrayed by the Dark Brotherhood. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <laughs> roasted alive. Come on. Let's go. So you are alive. What the fuck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That would be my keyboard. There Listen, we go. I am your only salvation. Oh. Come, embrace me. I have to go embrace her. I think he's dead. I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more pull. Yeah. There. Can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. Been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. Well, I have to speak with Astrid. I'm gonna remain silent. I don't know, Babette. Looks like he may have suffered a head wound. Let's not let him out of our sight. Well, at least she's still alive. Okay. So, that's two. I watched the wolf guy die. Where the fuck am I? How the hell do we get out here? What was he pulling on? I don't understand what he was doing, but that's okay. We need to find her. Is she just like in her room? Look at all this death and like burned corpses and shit. Oh. Huh? Oh, oh, what the fuck? <coughs> alive. You're alive. <sighs> Thanks to this. Holy <coughs> fuck, lady. What the hell? You are hot. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. I don't care if they're watching. Shh. <coughs> Please. <coughs> there is much I have to say. <coughs> and not much time. <coughs> I understand. The sex will have I'm to wait. Sorry. <coughs> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus. Marrow. He said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood. So it was you. Forever. Oh. oh, but said this. I was such a fool. All of this. It's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. You sent me to die. And to think I was going to have sex with you. Oh. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up wanted you dead I betrayed you the night mother everything I hold dear and now Marrow has betrayed me I just wanted things uh, to stay the way they were before Cicero before the night mother 
before. You. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. Uh, not so sure I understand what you're saying. Let's uh, let's have you uh, let's have you clear this up. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. Release my soul, and let Sithis be the judge. Oh, her voice has changed a lot. What do you think? Astrid did the right thing. Release my and soul. It's your turn. And let Sithis be and the judge. Suffering. But I wanted to have sex with her. Do it, listener. Kill me. wanted to sex you woman somehow that missed your head <laughs> thank you <laughs> how did she say say thank you after she's dead man look at that body oh, oh yeah oh yeah let's just oh yeah she's she is ready <laughs> Come on, you're helping. You're <laughs> all right. Fine. God. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Dead ass. I am the leader of this family. I am the gourmet. I am the listener. You will listen to me. All right. Um, so what else do we have to do in here? We gotta talk to the Night Mother. She must guide us. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. <laughs> Emperor Titus Mead II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. <laughs> but first, Inform Nasir of your plans, for you are the listener, and must bind this family together. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm kind of a badass. I don't know if you guys knew this. Kind of a badass. Mm. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. Nope, not exactly. The Night Mother has spoken. And I shall be your father. What? Well, what did she say? Amand Motier? But that would mean... Yes, the contract is still on. He must be assassinated. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Our family lives on, Nazir. You have to trust me. 
<laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Moltier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Yes. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. But don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? <laughs> Bye, sir. Girl, pack your things. We're moving. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> yeah, this place is fucked. Now then. <laughs> this will end off this episode, you guys. I will see you next time. Ja, mata.